Hey guys, how you doing today? I have my purple Adam Toda here today. And what I want to do is I'm going to repot her real quick. And I want to put her, you can see I have her up on a trellis. And then I have, I just, this one I just stuck in. So that one will come out and stay out. But I want to make an A-frame or what I call a TP trellis for her. I have um, other TP trellises that I've made for my bigger climbing plants. You can see back here my Cebu Blue. She is up on a TP trellis. It's just three. I'll show you what I mean. I've got three bamboo stakes. And all I do is stick them down into the soil, all the way down into the pot. And then they will come up. And then I'll tie them at the top, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I got her all repotted, got her in her fresh soil. So now what I want to do is I want to work on taking, this is going to be the worst job, is taking all of this off the trellis because she has really uh, very thin tendrils that wraps around everything. Here, I'll show you right here. These are the little tendrils that wrap around everything. And they wrap around everything. The first is going to be the chore of figuring out where those plants start and ends. She's even wrapping around herself. But if you break breaking these tendrils aren't isn't going to hurt. I just try to break them off at the end as far as I can, but they will continue to keep growing. The tendrils will continue to keep growing. And continue to wrap around. But right now all I want to worry about is getting her off of this trellis as best as I can without breaking anything. Just untangling. She has, these were cuttings from my friend Mary that she sent me. There were two cuttings. Well, that wasn't so bad, but what I'm trying to do now is just not, I don't want her to snap. So I'm just trying to figure out where, where everything is going. Okay, that looks like a piece that I cut. And like I said, if you break the tendrils, don't worry about it because the tendrils will grow back. This is such a beautiful plant and since I rooted her, I rooted her in water and she rooted out really quickly. This is like really hard to see where it, <laughs> where it goes. I wanted to do this actually a while back but I didn't, I actually, I threw out my back at one point and I was down for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I was doing very, very little besides trying to, okay, it looks like this, I'm going to pull out in between, oh, and like I said, if I break anything, wow, she is long. And these were all just two separate stems. The, see here, oh, right here is where she's hooked. Need to entangle that. There, I think, maybe, 
Wow. Okay, actually that was <laughs> a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to gently lay her down here on the table. You can see. Look at all that. And then I've got Velcro ties. There. Now I think she's going to pull off that dead leaf. Now I'm going to pull this, pull that out, take that off because I'll need it. Okay, now I'm going to move my camera again and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put my so-called PP or A-frame face on. Okay, here are my three bamboo poles. I am going to stick them down like this. You're not going to be able to see the very top of the plant right at the moment. Oh, I just put my light right at the moment. But I will show you that. I'm just sticking them in straight up and down. I'm trying to just get them centered as three, as close as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. And then what I'm going to do is let me move my camera again. Okay, up here you can see I've got them all down in the bottom of the pot, which I just showed you. Now up here at the top, I'm going to take my Velcro tape, or you can use twine, and I'm just going to wrap, hold on, I'm not going to use the Velcro tape, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb, I'm going to get my twine. Okay, so what I did here is I got my twine, I'm going to make a knot, at the top, and I hope you guys can at least see fairly good. This is a really weird, <laughs> this is a really weird setup for me. This is like way up in the air. I probably should have put it on the floor. Might have been better. But I'm just wrapping around all three of my stakes, make a knot, and then I'm going to wrap Wrap this down, slide it, keep it tight. Okay, keep it as tight as you can. Slide her down. Keep doing that. Nothing fancy, nothing hard, but I like the A-frame look. And then I left a little tail out from the first knot that I made, and then I'm just going to knot it up. And that will hold it really well. And I'll cut this off. And now what I want to do is I want to take my, and I just want to start wrapping her. So I'm going to take, let's see, this is the shortest one of the longest, so I am just going to gently wrap her around. I'm just wrapping her around in a circle. This is how I do all of my plants. When I use this, I don't put them straight up and down because then you got to weave them up and then weave them back down. And this, for me, works out better. And all the tendrils will rewrap around this pole. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is... Alright, so there she is. There's her new pod. 
I got her filled in at the bottom nicely, kind of thick. These are the new growths coming out, and then I will wrap them up as they get longer. And then she's going up, up, up to the tippy top. You can kind of see how, how I have her wrapped around. So that's all there is to it. I love my teepee poles. They work really well. You can see here, in my Cebu Blue, she's on the same kind of a teepee pole. And she's growing very nicely. And then what I did was once she reached the top, I need to make this a little bit longer, but I don't really know if I want to. I don't have, I have a lot of hanging pots, plants, I mean, and a lot of them hang down this low. So, and I don't really have a lot of room in the pot to put any more cuttings. So I'm just going to keep wrapping her around up and down. And then I will do the same. But what you want to do is, if if you want to make it higher later, all you would have to do is add, leave these all alone, leave the plant alone, unless it needs to be repotted later. Um, leave the TP poles in, and then just add more poles in between, taller ones, and then you can get it up higher, you know, however high you want your your floor plant to be because she will be a floor plant. She's going to be on a table for right now <clears throat> for a while and then later she'll be sitting on the floor or maybe on a lower um, a lower uh, plant stand of some sort but she is just absolutely gorgeous. She's grown very well. I'll have to adhere her up there like that with another piece of tape, velcro tape. But for now, that is it. That's how I make my teepee stakes. It's very, very easy. You can see how I have the twine wrapped around here. It's very easy to do. It stays nicely. And that's all there is to it. So, alright guys, I am going to let you go and I will talk to you later. Bye. Peace.